Hi, Marlena from Impact a Purpose, and in this video I'm going to show you how to change the opacity of parts of your project. In this video I'm working with this girl and I'm going to be working on her face shading. As you can see on this layer here that I have selected, if I unselect it, this is what she would look like without the face shading, and this is with the full opacity of her face shading. If I select the end, you can see it is up at 99%. Now I put it up to max. I can decrease that opacity to make that lighter. I like this one at about 68%, but I can see that there's part of her shading that I still don't like, and that's her nose. So I'm going to teach you how to change the opacity of just a part of a layer by copying and pasting that part of the layer. So while I'm on the layer for face shading, I'm gonna select at the top of my screen the little S, it looks like a ribbon. You can see it just turned blue. And a menu came up on the bottom that says freehand in blue. That's what I would like to use uh, with my Apple Pencil. So with my pencil, I and it being on freehand, I'm going to draw around her nose. And I'm gonna take three fingers and swipe down on the screen and this menu comes up. From this menu, I'm going to select cut and paste. You can see it now has a square around it. And if I go to my layers panel, there's a layer called from selection. That's because I selected that part of the layer and I copied and pasted it into its own layer. If I select or uncheck this box, you'll see that the nose shading goes away. So I could choose to do that or I could choose to change the opacity by selecting the N. And you can see I can just change the opacity of the shading of her nose and it's not affecting the rest of her face because that's still on that other layer. So I'm going to select 73% for that. And remember, another thing I could have done if I started back in the layers panel, I could take two fingers and just touch that layer and then it came up on the top of the screen, it says opacity 73%, and I can take my pencil and I can go back and forth to change the opacity of that layer. So that's a shortcut that you can use when you're doing opacity of a layer. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please remember to hit the subscribe button and follow me over at dependentapurpose.com. Thank you.